Okay, friends, this is this is actually funny. This is funny for me. Mm -hmm. ah! Heck out a day rate. You sure did keep the wolves away, but it gave him the father's gate. Well, behold, the woodman's woodshed. It's a sight to be seen. Well, he's got kindling nighttime burn. Two cords of the green. I, I don't believe I've ever done anything like this. But you know what? I see other YouTubers do it and they get their they get people involved in, in some of the stuff they're doing. I mean, I think I know, I pretty much know what I want to do with these. I'm going to show you something and I'm going to ask your opinion and I want you to put it in the comment section. What, what you would do, knowing me, knowing me. So if you don't know me, uh, it might be a little bit difficult for you to, for the answer. But here's the deal. Recently, I found myself a set of, uh, well, a couple sets of Vibergs boots that... I can't even believe I found them. They, they aren't making work boots right now, friends. They stopped making them for right now. I'm not saying, or they're not saying they're done. They're, 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 they're not making work boots right now and they're not resoling. So I found a pair. Uh, I've put it, a couple of little blurbs up about it, but I found two pairs and the, the pair I got on my feet right now, I sent the other ones off to get resold because they had this, well, they had this sole on them. Look at this, friends. Look at these things. <laughs> I mean, they are just unreal. I got to tell you, the workmanship on these boots, look at the double stitch on that stitch out. Look at the double stitch. T take a look at this stuff. So I'm a Viberg man because I know Viberg. I, I don't, I can't, well, I can only speak to a couple of, of, of different pairs. Uh, companies, but the problem is the sole. It, it's one of these, right, friends? It's one of those, and uh, you know the one. It's, it's the slippery one, right? They call it the foreman sole or something like that. I don't know what they call it, but I saw a set of these about a year ago in their store. They were secondhand, but they were like a size seven. I would have bought them right there, square dead on the spot. If they had to fit me, they were brown, they were broken in, they were, oh, they were just too small. I tried them on and I'm like, I'm getting some of those. Well, the, the, the rest of the story is crazy. That day we went down, they were in a completely different box. It was nuts what happened. This stuff doesn't happen every day. And I just looked at Hogan, he looked at me. The lady working there looked at me like, okay, this is weird. They were in a completely different box. They were in the Packers box that Hogan bought a different set. So anyway, my question is, I want to change it to the lug sole. I do. I, I want to change these to, to the lug sole. Um, I, it's just what I want to do because I wear boots. I, I mean, I will wear these in the tree. I will wear them on the street. I'll wear them downtown dancing with my lady out for dinner doing firewood running saw i will wear these suckers and this sole i mean they're 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 fine but they they are more slippery than the lug sole but there are some benefits to this sole so my question to you is what would you do what would you do would you resole these would you put the lug sole on there there are other options there are in between soles Tell me what you would do on this. Leave a comment down below in the, in, the, in the comment section what you would do with this boot, including heel and everything. You know, it's funny, friends. I've been wearing boots for, oh my gosh. I've been with my wife for 30 years. And the first set of cowboy boots I bought was, was, was when we and her were, were really new. I would think about, anyways, a long time ago. And I love boots. I've been wearing them and I was really sad when I got hit by that tree because I couldn't wear boots anymore. You know, you know what the reason was? I couldn't pull them on. I couldn't get boots on my feet. I, I, I literally couldn't do it. So I, I missed my boots when I, when I got busted up. But I was able to get going again, obviously, as we all know. But uh, let's, get, let, let's get this comment section lit up about what, what a guy should do with these. They're called the Raven, friends. 
and I, and I'm going to tell you something. There's some of the I I've not I've seen many many boots through the years. I'm a Viberg and a Dayton man. Uh, I had some JKs uh, in the midterm. Uh, they were fine. They they definitely served their purpose and they make nice boots. But you know, 25 years in the Viberg, you, you just it, you can't just leave them in the dust. It's not it's not possible. I'm not that kind of person. Plus, I've always been able to wear Viberg right off the shelf. So, so, so that's me. I can't even believe they're a freaking triple E. That is my size. That is my size. I wear triple E. This is what the crazy thing was about this. There they were. It was nuts. I almost did a backflip right in the freaking showroom in Victoria, BC. Nice. <laughs> oh, Gadgies goes down for the... <laughs> yeah. What would you do? Would you put, like, this is what I do, friends. Th this is me every, all the time, every day I'm doing this. Power saws, axes, wood, the whole gamut. So you tell me what you would do for lugs. Give me an idea. I've been looking at Nick's boots. I've been looking at, you know, all the other boot companies and watching their videos and watching Trenton and Heath and, and, and uh, Brian, the boot maker. Brian, I talked to you a long time ago about redoing some Vibergs and you said you would. I've got, I've got a couple sets of boots I want to send, and I want to spread the love around a little bit, friends. Like, I've just sent my first pair off to Trenton and Heath. They're two brothers out of, I believe, Nashville. Uh, they may have moved, but I think they're in that Tennessee area. Great, great guys, and they do nice work, and I, I, want, I sent them my Vibergs. So there's these to consider. I've got a set of Dayton's, another set of Vibergs. I want to spread the love around a little bit. That's just the kind of guy I am, uh, and everybody's busy, so I don't want to... I don't want to throw five sets of boots at one guy, but we'll see what happens here. So let me know what you would do with these beautiful freaking boots. These are so close to my heart. I, and look at the fit. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Oh, let me know. Okay, let's get this square here. We all have little different situations with our firewood. Uh, because I'm the wood man around this, this household, I don't like asking people for help. I just don't like doing it. It's not my style. If I need help, if I absolutely need it, I ask for it. So, What's this going to do? It's just going to be uncomfortable for a little bit. Well, that's life. I'll be enjoying it when I'm throwing it in the stove. Right? That's when we'll enjoy it. When we're throwing it in the stove. Gotta stand up. Okay. Whew. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. I know you do. Now, now I can go in here and uh, there. Now I can rest my elbow on my knees. This this I can do all day. This is no problem. It's when you when you all of a sudden have to rely on your back. That's when it becomes a problem. This is not a problem. Had to go get hit by a tree, eh, friends? <laughs> you're sitting there in the dead of winter and you got this freaking wood hot stove going boy oh boy I tell you turn around switch your left arm
these boots i've almost like the, there's been hardly a break in on these friends i've always for some reason been able to wear viberg boots right off the shelf they used to have a they, they were flying years ago 15 20 years ago i just used to go into a, a hardware store not a hardware store a workwear store called ono's it was like a workwear world kind of thing you know and they had Vibergs, like everywhere. Viberg, you could just, boom, I'll take the, the, the nine and a half or whatever it was, or steel toe or non you know what I mean? But those days are so far gone. I remember when I used to go in there and get them, like, no, we don't, we're not getting them anymore. They can't keep up, we're not, we don't. I was like, no way. So what do you gotta do? She goes, well, you can go down to Victoria. This is 15 years ago now, friends. You gotta go down to Victoria. So this to me, friends, I'm a Viberg man. It's plain and simple. But I've always been intrigued with, uh, there's been a lot of good feedback on Knicks and whites. You know, there's part of me being a boot man. There's part of me that wants to try these fellas, you know, just because I, I then I can actually speak to them because I get asked this stuff all the time because I've worn Dayton, I've worn Viberg and I've worn JK. They're all good. They're, they're all, they all have their things, right? They all have their things. I just find with Viberg, there's obviously a sentimental piece to that for me and a loyalty thing, but there's also a quality and a, and a, and a stoutness to them. They're row freaking bust. Their boots are row bust. Friends, this is an everything boot for me. I, I'm telling you straight up right now, that, that is an everything boot. And, and don't think, you wanna change the look, freaking change your tongue. You can, you can change the look of, you can accessorize any boot. Leave a comment on what you think a fella should do with these, knowing me, what he, what he should put on this for a soul. Work hard, be honest, it's Sunday. We're not going live today. As you can see, I got too much on the go, but I wanted to send out a video. To all my friends that come to the live feeds and to our super chatters and to all our friends that, that we party here every Sunday. I'm not saying I'm not going to be live Sunday ever again. I'm saying that today we're not going live. And uh, here's a video. I love yous. Be kind. Work hard. Be honest. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. They don't have this one anymore. They used to. No, they didn't. Catch you around.